He just wants to see how it's drying to see if we can start raking it up and bailing it. We have rain coming in the forecast now. Kate's just having a nice early morning ride with Stevie before it gets too hot. I knew she was going for the long on both of those lines. I'm sorry, that fell apart. We're not quitters, we can do this. It's hot up there. I know, it's been hard at work. Kate is a master haystacker. She's gone from a city girl to country girl. go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell to select all so you don't miss any of our videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends and family about us too. It's the only way we can grow and that YouTube knows you're enjoying our videos. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well for extra content and behind the scenes footage. Let's get into the video. Violet's out here by herself, totally calm, not throwing a fit. She's just eaten in the pasture, happy as can be. Such a good, confident baby. lettuce that I got from Dollarama for like, I don't know, three or four bucks. It's like a seed strip and it has come back. This is the third year. It's like come back on its own. It just reseeds itself and it's so good. We are down checking one of the fields that we actually cut hay on. We don't have enough hay off of our own property that we get. We get about 500 bales off of our property. We go through a lot of hay in a year between the horses, the goats, the bunnies. This is not our property, but we have the hay cut for us. And then we come down here and stack it onto the wagon and drive a long way home. So it helps if we're doing some of the work. Scott sometimes is cutting or helping with the raking and stuff, helps cut down some of the costs for us. And then it is a lot of 
sweat equity to get this stuff back up to our place. We store it at our house, our barn in the hayloft. When that gets stacked up, we have the best neighbors who let us use one of their storage containers. And so we store it there as well. We are very fortunate to live in a small community with amazing neighbors. So Scott is just checking out to see how this is drying up. He cut it the other night and he just wants to see how it's drying to see if we can start raking it up and baling it because we have rain coming in the forecast now. So we are just down here. And then later on today, Kate's just finishing up some work. She's trying to do a grade 12 course over the summer to get a jump start on her coming year so that she has credits completed to apply for university. She's working on that right now. And then we're gonna do some riding cause there's a nice breeze and it's a little bit cooler today. It's hot, but it's a little bit cooler for riding. So we'll see you back at home. Kate's just having a nice early morning ride with Stevie before it gets too hot. You know, normally I'd like let her go and she'll just stay with me when I fix jumps. Not today, I don't think. <laughs> no, she'll be like, I'm going for the grass, you thanks. Now we usually ride them at night when it cools down, but this morning it was really nice and cool with a nice breeze. It's just taking a break from some work and having a ride. I don't need this because I'm in my warm up. I keep forgetting to drop the crop because I'm practicing for like flat class. Mm -hmm. For when you can't have a crop. Specifically trying to perfect my walk scanter transitions. Good. She doesn't appreciate me doing that. She's like, come on guys, please.
she get it? Good girl. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down Wanna be the first and know all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one oh. who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you My stirrup was twisted, that's why it was bothering me Oh, show you it's like got a little pink in me What are you doing? Jumping no hands? What? Why are you have it tied up? What's tied up? Oh I thought your reins were tied up. No, I had them tied before. No, I, I saw that. I just thought they were tied right now. I thought I saw you undo them and then I don't. Never mind. Where were you planning on taking? I was planning on going around and she was like, no, Kate, we're going over it. We're not quitters. We can do this. Goes from much oh, you were going to take her around. I thought she just ducked out on it. Well, and then no, we both kind of mutually decided we didn't have enough to get over that properly. And then she's like, no, you know what? I have faith in myself. Just hang on. We're, we're just going to go over it. Thank you. By the time I realized what she was doing, we were already in the air. That was better. I knew she was going for the long on both of those lines. Every day I got your back. Yeah, you can count on me. Yeah. So put your hand in mine. No, the second she took the long for that, I knew we weren't going anywhere close to the base for that one. Grazing. All right, it is haying time. Weather turned on us, so we've got to get our hay bales off that field. So we are heading on over. We've got friends helping us. Julia's all decked out, ready to go.
Oh my god, they just found a snake in one of the hay bales. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's dead. Oh. No, that's a milk snake. That is what I'm worried about finding one day when I'm taking hay out for the rabbits in my family room. Kate is a master haystacker. She's gone from a city girl to country girl. Quick. Ready? Yep. She's good at packing it nice and tight so it doesn't fall apart on the drive home. It's hot up there. I know. It's been hard at work. No, it's hot up there. Down here it's nice and cold and then I shut the door so I can go. Look out the side there, see if there's where the first veil is. Up here? Right where daddy is? I can't even throw this one. It's not coming yet. So we had a popcorn and water, and now she's back to work. Alright. We are back for round two. We just brought 210 bales over and now we're back for more. We have about two more of these loads to do <laughs> before the rain comes in a couple of hours. Kate's hot and tired. She's been doing lots of work. Julia's back there. All right, 30 degrees. Celsius without the Humidex. Oh, thanks. Yep. Bye -bye. <laughs> All right. Come on. <laughs> All right. Load number two done. We're getting there. Got all of that stuff back there to do still. And then he's still raking up back there. So all of that'll be bales. 